A 37-hour mission in a B-2 stealth bomber? Let's take a look at what it's really like to fly inside a cockpit the size of a small office cubicle on board one of the most advanced aircraft on Earth. They take off from Missouri, fly halfway across the world, drop 30,000-pound bombs on nuclear site in Iran, and return home without ever being seen. And it all starts before takeoff. At Whiteman Air Force Base, pilots train in 24-hour simulators, flying the full mission from start to finish. They rehearse strikes on mock targets built to match the real thing, like Iran's Ferdow facility, buried deep in a mountain. But the prep isn't even about flying. They meet with doctors, reset their sleep cycles, even adjust their diets, because everything, down to digestion, needs to be under control at 30,000 feet. Once they're in the air, it's just two pilots, the small cockpit has room for a toilet, a space behind the seats for a cot or a camping pad, and each pilot takes rest breaks. One flies, while the other naps in short shifts. It's not deep sleep, but it's just enough to keep them focused. Refueling? It's done blind. No rear view, just pilot director lights under the tanker and years of muscle memory. Then comes the strike. The bomb bay doors open and the pilots feel it. The aircraft jolts as they release 60,000 pounds of bunker busters. No radar detection, no missiles fired, just in and out before anyone even knew they were there. Yes, the B-2 is a marvel of stealth engineering, but the mission basically depends entirely on the people inside it. 